Evelyn invites Kristen and Sunia out for lunch. And she wants to talk about everything that happened at the garden party. And she wants to know if Kristen and Sunia pretty much buried the hatchet with whatever it is, whatever issue that they had going on. So apparently Sunia tells, you know, Sunia and Kristen pretty much confirmed that they're good. They saw their issue long before and Vogue decided to walk in and um, blow up spots, which is what the fuck they always do. You know, in Vogue, as in, you know, Evelyn, Shawnee, Tammy, and Bonnie Jill, you know, those four bitches. Okay. They always want to hold on to your love and shit at every motherfucking event and be high schoolish and shit. But, yeah. So, she was like, okay, so y'all good. And then they were like, yeah, we good. So then they get to talking about Jackie and her messiness. And my thing about it is, Evelyn, girl, Jackie is messy as fuck. She is. But why are you so hell bent on confronting her about what the fuck she doing and about how messy she is? Because truth be told, all y'all bitches is messy. Every last one of y'all messy. The only one that ain't really messy like that is Kristen. But all you bitches is messy. So I don't understand why Jackie is the one that got to be called out on all her motherfucking shit. It's honestly annoying at this point. It really is. And she's talking about how, you know, it was fucked up. How Jackie tried to run up on Bunny Jill and all of this stuff. My thing about it is, why are you so hard up on defending Diet Susie Cola so much? Because the bitch got a mouth of her own and she always running that motherfucker all the time. And to be quite honest, I really wished that Jackie would have whooped that bitch ass or something or popped her in the eye or something. Because I don't like that damn bitch. I really don't like her motherfucking ass. That damn garden tool nose having ass bitch. I don't fuck with her. And I'm tired of her. And she's so up that bitch ass. And I don't understand why everybody is cuddling that bitch like she's so motherfucking innocent when all she ever do is collect bones and shit and run back and tell them. But, you know, that's what they do. That's what the fuck they like. They like for motherfuckers to do shit like that. And I'm over it. So then, um, you know, when it all came down to it, you know what I'm saying? She, um... Uh, no, Tammy and Hazel met up. And honestly, y'all, I don't know how I'm, you know, what it is about this bitch. I'm not really digging her that much. I don't know why the fuck she's here, but okay. But I got a feeling that she's going to be around next season because, you know, she's also a part of the, you know, the old lady gang with Bunny Jill. You know, them two want to be up down with the clique so bad. But they talk about Malaysia, and Tammy was like, you know, I really like Malaysia. And all of that. And it's not even the fact that I don't like Brandy. It's just that I felt like she did something fucked up at the time. And I choose not to be around her right now. Here's my thing with Tammy, bitch. Girl, bye. Girl, bye. And girl, have a motherfucking seat. Okay? You can't... Really? What did she do that was so fucked up in Portugal? Her telling Duffy not to, not to bow down to your ass. She did the right thing by telling her not to bow down to your ass, bitch. But that's the problem. You want a motherfucker to bow down to you. That's the problem. But you're talking about you don't have a problem with Brandy. You just don't want to be around her. Bitch, please. You have a problem with that bitch. You don't like her. That's the problem. And you're talking about, well, because Malaysia decided to bring Brandy around, I'm just going to limit my time with Malaysia as well. You know what I'm saying? Blah, blah, blah. Because I really like Malaysia. Girl, bye. You don't like that damn girl. Have a seat. So then they talk about Jackie's attack on Bunny Jill. And my thing about it is everybody talk. Everybody want to make it seem like Bunny Jill is so motherfucking innocent. And that's, that's my biggest issue. Bunny Jill ain't motherfucking innocent. She's not innocent at all. That bitch always running her motherfucking mouth. She always getting smart. And I wish that was Malaysia running up on that bitch instead of Jackie. Because Malaysia got a real motherfucking reason to run up on Bunny Jill. Because Bunny Jill obviously got something to say about the bitch. But she don't even know her. And she clearly got a problem with Malaysia as well. But I wish that was Malaysia running up on that bitch instead of Jackie. You know what I'm saying? I really do. Because she's getting on my motherfucking nerves. She always running her motherfucking mouth and I'm tired of her ass. And you know, everybody just saying, oh, she running up on Bunny Jill and all of that. And Tammy, didn't you run up on Keisha? Knowing that that bitch was scared of you. Okay, but now you want to feel sorry for somebody. Girl, please. Stop talking about how she running up on, up on poor little Bonnie Jill the way you ran up on poor little Keisha and motherfucking Tahiti. Knowing that that bitch was scared of you. You took her motherfucking purse and you told her to ask you for her purse back. Who takes somebody's purse and then says, you better ask me for your purse bag. As long as you, did you say, did you say please? Did you say please? I want, I want you to ask me for my purse bag. 
for your purse back. Who does that? Who does that? That's all I want to know. Who the fuck does that? Is what I'm trying to figure out. Who does that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Because she's really killing me. That's, that's, that's really what it is. Hold on, y'all. But yeah, anyway, I'm not even going to respond. But yeah, so Jackie um, meets up with Sunia, and she pretty much apologized to Sunia. And she was like, you know, I don't know if I said, um, if I said um, the, the whole liability thing or not. If I did, I'm sorry. I probably did say it. You did say it, but okay. But I'm sorry. Either way it goes, she apologized to Sunia, and Sunia accepted it. So, Sunia pretty much tells her about the conversation that she had with Evelyn. Because even then, she was like, she don't feel comfortable sitting around while Evelyn's sitting up here talking about Jackie like a dog behind her back. You know what I'm saying? The Jackie, her girl. So, she went back and told her. Same thing Bundy Jill doing. Now, one of y'all saying Sunia at, I one of y'all is giving Sunia a pass for going back telling Jackie what the fuck Evelyn said. Because that's all the fuck Bundy Jill do. She been doing that from the very beginning. But okay, I want to see what the fuck y'all got to say about that. Because since Bundy Jill want to collect bones and shit, Sunia, collect your bones, bitch. Collect all your church's chicken bones, bitch, and give them back to Jackie. Collect them, bitch. Because Evelyn is steady talking. And I'm tired of Evelyn talking. She's so fixated on Jackie. She's so fixated on her drama. She's so fixated on her damn daughter and they drama that it don't make no fucking sense. I'm over Evelyn. I'm tired of her ass. So then, you know, Sunia tells her. And, you know, she pretty much said that she's going to confront Evelyn about the situation, which she should. So then, Jackie, Malaysia, and Brandy, they meet up. And, um, you know, they talking and, you know, Malaysia was like, I feel like they got a problem with you because you're now friends with us. And I think that's just what it is. When I, Malaysia, I don't necessarily believe that that's the reason why they got a problem with Jackie. Because anybody could have a problem with Jackie because y'all have had problems with Jackie. So, I don't really agree with that whole, oh, they got a problem with you because you're friends with us. No, Malaysia, bitch. No, no, that's not the issue. Jackie is messy. She is messy. She been messy from the start. That's why y'all wasn't fucking with her. So it ain't really got nothing to do with y'all. It's just the fact that she's a she's a messy bitch anyway. That's just what it is. So it is what it is. It ain't got nothing to do with y'all. I just think that it's because she is a messy bitch. But Jackie is a bit too involved in Jackie and what the fuck she got going on. You know what I'm saying? But that's just neither here nor there. But and another thing, Malaysia... If you if I hear you say my best friend one more time, I'm going to just scream. Because at the end of the day, Malaysia, fuck them. Brandy don't need to be over. All I got to say is this. Y'all are on the show. And the only reason why they don't want the girl around. Because they're trying to block her ass from filming. So she won't be returning to back next season. That's what the fuck. Y'all motherfuckers that's out here watching it. Always want to come in on my shit. And tell me how the hell I need to be feeling about it. Y'all don't even understand. That this is a whole ploy for production. They don't want to film with the bitch. So that's why they doing. That's why Tammy decided. I don't want to be around Brandy. You don't want Brandy on the show. Ellen didn't want to come back to the show unless Brandy and Malaysia wasn't around. And Tammy and Shawnee just following suit. Y'all don't understand. A lot of this shit that's in front of you guys is all back behind the scene drama. That's what the fuck it is. They are trying to block the girl from filming. So all I got to say is, at the end of the day, Malaysia, fuck them bitches. Just have her, just bring Brandy around bitches that don't mind her being around. She ain't got to be around Tammy and Shawnee and Evelyn. She ain't got to be around them. Bring her around bitches that don't mind. Bring her around, you know, Kristen. Or bring her around Sunia. Or, hell, I, I wouldn't prefer her being around Bundy Jill because all she going to do is run back and tell the other the other clique what the fuck y'all are saying. But bring her around motherfuckers. You know, film, have her film with people that actually want to film with her. You know what I'm saying? That's just the same way it was with Royce. You know, Evelyn and Royce didn't want to film with her. So she just filmed with Susie's and the Keisha's and the Kenyans and the Tammy's and the Jennifer's. That's what the fuck she filmed with because them hoes don't want to film with her. So just have her around bitches that just don't mind, you know, filming with her. That's how I feel about it. So then, Tammy, Shawnee, Evelyn, and Bonnie Jill, you know, the whacked out ass in Vogue, they decide to meet up at Evelyn's house and, you know, Evelyn having a party for some pictures that her and her daughter took and she wants to invite all of them to the party. But, you know, Bonnie Jill was like, Jackie isn't coming, is she? So, 
you know, Evelyn was like, I'm not going to personally invite her. So, Shawnee said, well, I'll do it. So, they called Jackie, and they act in the same way they say Malaysia and Brandy act like fucking high school girls. They got the bitch on speakerphone. They all laughing and running around the room and all of that shit, acting like a bunch of childish-ass idiots. The same thing that Shawnee always want to accuse other bitches of doing. You know what I'm saying? So, no. It is what it is. No. That's so see what I'm saying? See the hip see the hypocrisy here? You accuse these other girls of being so childish and immature, but what the fuck y'all just did was childish and immature. Going into the next scene. So they have the party, you know, Kiana's there, bitches that don't even matter, all of them was there. And you know the party don't get started till Jackie come. So Jackie came, she hugs everybody, she tells Bunny Jill, we haven't talked, we're gonna talk tonight and all of that. So we get into that, and you know, um, Jackie was like, I just felt like me and you was always on the same page talking about Evelyn. So I don't understand what the fuck the problem is. So Evelyn was like, well, it ain't really about me. It's about the way that you tried to attack Bunny Jill. Why the fuck you ride so hard for Bunny Jill like she ain't got a mouth or a mind of her motherfucking own? Let that bitch speak for herself, Evelyn. Why the fuck are you speaking for her? Let me know, okay? But the thing that really irks me with this whole scene is the fact that Jackie denies ever trying to charge at the girl. You did, Jackie. You did try to fight Bunny. You did. And I was hoping that you fought Bunny. But you did try to attack her. So why the fuck are you trying to act like you did? You're talking about something. I defended myself against a lie. It wasn't a lie. You said it. It wasn't a lie. You said it. It's just the fact that Bunny Jill just couldn't wait to go back and tell them what the fuck she said. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck you said. That's all it was. Just own up to what the fuck you said. Just like Sunia said, she was bothered because you didn't own up to it. And you just resorted to going after Bunny Jill. Even though, like I said, I don't like Bunny Jill, so I wanted her to get her ass beat. But the truth is the truth you did say. It. And the truth is the truth you did try to attack her. But my problem is the fact that Evelyn riding so hard for this bitch and all of that stuff. And I'm like, why you riding so hard for her? You know what I'm saying? Like, why the fuck you riding so hard for her? But that's, but that's the problem that I got with everybody else. See, it's okay for Evelyn to ride so hard for motherfucking Bonnie Jill, but it's not okay for Malaysia to be an advocate for her friend. You see the hypocrisy here? And it goes for the people on the show and the, those of you that watch. Y'all are so fucking biased to the OGs because that's what they are. They're OGs. Everybody like the Miami um version. But... I just see shit for what it is. And these OG people just want to come to LA, take this fucking show over and push everybody off and bring who the fuck they want to bring. They want minions on the show. And that's why they keep bringing Bonnie Jill on, they bringing Hazel on, and they trying to push Jackie, Malaysia, and Brandy the fuck off so they can have a show full of people that they like. That's all. And they don't nobody want to watch this shit. Because they had a show of everybody that they like when they got rid of uh, Jennifer, Royce, and Keisha. And they only had Tammy, Shawnee, Evelyn, Susie, and Tasha. And that shit was lame as fuck. It was boring as hell. Everybody liked everybody. Don't nobody want to see that. And it wouldn't be no show if it wasn't for Malaysia and Brandy. Because all the fuck y'all got to talk about. I ain't going to lie to you. Before I go, I'm just going to say this. And I, honestly, Jackie went the fuck in on Evelyn. I don't give a damn what nobody said. She really did. And she gave them an exit when she walked out. This shit was funny as hell. Only for Shawnee to be the one to mimic the same actions that, that Jackie did as, as, as they walked out. Childish ass shit that she claims everybody else doing. But I'm going to tell y'all this. When this show first aired, y'all saw that I wasn't even reviewing this shit every damn day. Because it was boring. That Tammy Evelyn beef was so played out that don't nobody care then all these newbies and this kiana and and elena shit was boring and and asia and Kristen was boring all that shit was boring this shit wasn't about nothing till malaysia and brandy came back and that's all the fuck they had to talk about ever since they would not have no show if it wasn't for them and they in they drama coming on the show let's just be real so with that being said this is my review on basketball wise make sure y'all like rate comment and fucking subscribe and share to listen to alley twitter any motherfucker where you want to make sure y'all do that and i'm out of here y'all till next time peace fuck the ogs bitch